Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at an artist called Louis Jover and his really cool portraits that he does with a kind of like newspaper or book paper background and these sort of colour splashes that he brings into it. This is my response that I've done here. I'll show you some of his work first so you can have a look at it. And you can see he's an artist and he paints portraits onto actual book pages and he does these sort of colour splash effects here. And he does a sort of lot of black and white monochrome work. And it's all very exciting. He does these collages as well that you can see he's added other elements into it. So if you're interested in his work, obviously have a look at more of it on the internet, etc. But I'm going to be looking at something like this for my response. So if we go back over here, what you will see is we've got the face, we've got the colourful eyes, some colourful bits of bling and the colourful earrings, and then the um, these papery background. So I'll show you how to do it step by step. So here's a photograph of my beautiful wife, with some of her bling that she makes from victoryrainbowcat.com if you're interested. And how we're going to do this is first we're going to duplicate this background layer so that we've got two of them, so we can make one of them black and white. So we're going to go image, adjustments, black and white first of all. Then we're going to change the image levels and we're going to bring the levels up so we've got the darks really black and bring the white in to make the white really white and then just move the gray over slightly. Once we've done this we are then going to go to our filter menu then we're going to go to our image menu and we are going to make some adjustments we're going to posterize it to make it look more like the kind of effect we want. We want about six levels seven levels or eight I'm going to go with seven no, I'm going to stick with eight click OK and now we've got that we then need to work out where the colourful bits are going to go so we're going to colour here colour where the eyes are and colour the earrings so we will do that first of all by adding a layer mask we will use the black ink, the paintbrush, and we will paint in very carefully where we want the colour bits to go back. And I want it all around the eyes, like so, around the other eye, like so. The colour there, and put the colour back in the bling. Being really careful not to go outside the edges of the stuff that I don't want. So we can get the colours back in here. And the colour on the bit of blink down there. Then onto the each earring. So we have the colours back in here. And you can see what's happening with this is it's adding a mask over here on the layer mask menu here. So let me go like this. Get the earrings. Like so. Okay, so that's the colour element we want. Now we want to add that newspaper effect. So to do that, we're going to go to File, Place Embedded, and I've already saved a piece of book pages that I found on the internet. You can take your own photographs or you can find them on the internet. And press enter once we've done that. With these we then need to adjust, make some adjustments, make sure it's get some real contrast on it and make it a little darker so you can really see it pop out. Once we have done that, then need to go to the layer menu and go to multiply, which gives that effect that it is behind the image. And you can see that it looks like it's been painted on top of it now. I'm going to go back over to this layer a moment and I'm going to make a few more adjustments to really get the brightness to pop, etc. So we can get the brightness up a little bit and the contrast a bit more as well to really make it look like it is a sort of painted effect on to the newspaper. Okay, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. It's a nice straightforward one. Obviously, you need to have a face, you need to have a black and white layer. Add in the um, elements you want to show in colour and then drop a book page on top. 
Okay, thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed today's video, obviously pop over the channel and give it a thumbs up. Find your cup of flowers, hit that subscribe, thumbs up, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye.